today. We're okay. excited to see you. And we and you have to you get ready to dance and sing. Uh, and we have a story and learn more about God as we learn drawing near to God. Yes. Stand up and get ready. Let's sing! Yeah, let's yeah. sing! I have something so special to show you. This week we had three new pictures that were sent to Genny and they're from Isabella, Miora and Nathan. They just look incredible. Remember you can still submit your pictures to Genny which are on the link that I'll show you later and then you can send them to her and we'll show them in our next video. Okay now it's time to do our crafts. So the link that's going to come up below is where you can find all of today's pictures and activities and the parent guide. A quick note for you, mum and dad, there's questions and instructions for all of today's activities so that you can talk to your kids about the lesson that we're learning. So let me show you the very special activity we're doing today. You're going to need one of these, a cupcake pan holder. And it's going to make something like this a hot air balloon. So you're gonna need one of the patty pans, two pieces of wool, and a piece of colored paper to make a hot air balloon. Let me show you some of the other activities we have for you that you can print out. We have one here about Cornelius. And we have a coloring. And we have another one which will require mum and dad's help, but will be lots of fun. There's also three other colorings that you can do. So that will be heaps of fun that you can do today. Now it's time to sing again. We have a new worship song today with actions by Joanna, Joyce and Jocelyn. So let's stand up and sing. Welcome me. I was lost, but.
is about four people. We've got Peter. He was one of Jesus' disciples. He talked to people about Jesus. He talked to Jewish people about Jesus. Our story is also about Cornelius. He was a Roman centurion, a soldier, and they didn't mix with the Jews. But he loved God and he wanted to know more about God. And there were angels the angels gave a message to both Cornelius and to Peter. And the fourth person in our story is the Holy Spirit. We can't really see the Holy Spirit, but he was there in our story. Let's watch and find out what happens. Cornelius was a man who lived in Caesarea. He was an officer in the Roman army, and he and everyone in his house worshipped God. Cornelius helped other people, and he always prayed to God. One afternoon, Cornelius saw a vision of an angel of God coming to him. The angel said, Cornelius. Cornelius was afraid. He looked at the angel and said, what is it? The angel said, God has heard your prayers and he has seen how you help others. Then the angel instructed Cornelius to send for a man named Peter, who was in the city of Joppa. Cornelius sent two of his servants and one soldier to Joppa. The next day, as the servants and soldiers were nearing the city, Peter went up on the roof of the house to pray. He was hungry, but while he was waiting for the meal, Peter saw a vision. In this vision, 
Peter saw something like a large sheet coming down from heaven. In the sheet were all kinds of animals, reptiles, and birds. Then a voice said to him, Get up, Peter. Kill and eat. No, Lord, Peter said. I have never eaten anything that is not clean or not used for food. Again, a voice said to him, God has made these clean. Do not call them unfit to eat. This happened three times, and then the whole thing was taken up into heaven. Peter tried to understand what the vision meant. Then the men Cornelius had sent arrived at the gate. They explained that Cornelius had seen a vision, and an angel instructed him to send for Peter. So the next day, Peter went with the men to Caesarea. When Peter got to Cornelius' house, he began to speak. Peter explained that God does not consider people to be better than others. God had sent good news to the Israelites. Jesus is Lord of all. Everyone who believes in Jesus will have their sins forgiven, Peter said. While Peter said this, the Holy Spirit came down on those who heard the message. Not just the Jewish people, but the Gentiles or non-Jews too. The Jewish <laughs> believers were amazed. Cornelius, his friends, and his relatives were baptized in the name of Jesus. And Peter stayed with him for a few days. God showed Peter that just as there is no clean and unclean food, there are no clean and unclean people. God calls believers to tell everyone the good news about Jesus, no matter who they are or where they come from. Jesus is Lord of all. Wow, what an amazing story with paper bags. <laughs> I thought that was fun. I hope that you enjoyed it and learning so much about what happened in the Bible with Cornelius and Peter and the Holy Spirit and angels. It was amazing. Only God could speak to people like that through the Holy Spirit. You see, Peter was a Jewish person and Cornelius was not a Jewish person and they didn't used to talk to each other. But God showed them through the angels that he loves all people and everyone can come to him. And the Holy Spirit, who we can't see, he works in our lives. We need a helper and the Holy Spirit will help us in all kinds of ways. He helps us to pray. He helps us to understand the Bible. He speaks to us through when we read and through thoughts. It is amazing how much we need the Holy Spirit and how much He will help us. Did you know there's a verse in the Bible that comes from Romans 8, 26, and it says the Holy Spirit gives us words to speak to help us. Even when we don't know what to say, He helps us. The Holy Spirit is our helper and our guide, and we can ask Him to help us anytime and he will help us. I don't know everything about God and I've lived a long time already and I hope I'm going to live a really long time but I will never know everything there is to know about God but the Holy Spirit helps me get to know him more and more every day. As I pray and I talk to God, the Holy Spirit helps me. I can get closer to God, draw near to God through the Holy Spirit's help. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you that you gave us the Holy Spirit to help us, to guide us, to lead us. We invite the Holy Spirit into our lives and we ask that you would show us how to pray and that you would teach us about the Bible and what you want to say to us. Thank you, God, that you love us so much. We love you too. In Jesus' name, Amen. Let's go to Funny Man Dan and see what our big point is for today. Hello. 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 The Holy Spirit helps me pray. Huh? 
the Holy Spirit helps me pray. Ah, oh, the Holy Spirit helps me pray. <laughs> that was so much fun. I hope you learned more about drawing close to God today. Have fun doing the activities. We'll see you again next week. Let's sing our goodbye song. Everybody out there, can you give me one snap?